Josh Klein. YOLO! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Printer Doge here, and today I want to talk about um, this bill that will get written up if a certain U.S. Senate candidate gets elected, right? And what bill might that be about? Well, he would like to propose Dogecoin as legal tender in California. So let's get into this video. Uh, and before we do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification button, all that good stuff so you don't miss any more future videos. And we'll jump right into it. So, yeah, who, who, who is this guy, right? Let's talk about him real quick. So this is actually from an article off of CryptoPotato.com. And the headline is U.S. Senate candidate will propose to make Dogecoin legal tender if he wins. Right. So let's jump into it. Timothy Erse Jr., who runs for election to the U.S. Senate to represent California, vowed that he will draft a bill proposing Dogecoin as an official payment method if he is victorious. He also appointed that two of the best instruments against the current galloping inflation are the leading cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ether. The votes could determine Doge's future status. The United States Senate special election in California will take place on June. Seventh. One of the candidates is a member of the Democratic Party, Dr. Timothy Ursish, who turned out to be a cryptocurrency proponent. In a recent tweet, the 37-year-old politician promised to propose a bill granting Dogecoin a legal tender status. To accomplish that goal, he called upon the help of the software engineer Billy Marcus, the co-founder of the meme coin, and the world's richest person Elon Musk, an outspoken supporter of the asset. And this is actually what he wrote. He actually made a post on Twitter, and this is what it said. I call on Billy M2K and Elon Musk for support of my U.S. Senate campaign here in California. As mentioned weeks ago, if voted in elected on June 7th, I will draft a bill proposing Dogecoin as legal tender. I will push for mass adoption via the universal utility of hashtag cryptocurrency. Currently, the only digital asset used as an official payment method is Bitcoin, since El Salvador and the Central African Republic adopted it respectively in 2021 and earlier this year. Urish also believes that cryptocurrencies could be a successful hedge against the record inflation that reigns in the states. According to him, assets with limited supply and strong adoption, such as Bitcoin, could fit this bill. Despite lacking a maximum cap, unlike Bitcoin, the politician maintained that ETH could also work as such an instrument. So let's like there's also obviously more to this article and everything. And he just, you know, keeps talking about Dogecoin and um, and kind of mentioning it a little bit. Uh, the article also talks about and refers back to when um, Elon Musk tweeted out to McDonald's that he would go on camera on TV in a commercial eating a Happy Meal if they accepted Dogecoin as payment and McDonald's clearly dropped the ball there and then said something about a Grimace coin or something or other and just completely drop the ball right but in any case back to this so dogecoin becoming legal tender in california now this obviously is you it's it's a very slim chance that this would even happen especially right now um one because this guy is kind of uh betting on the fact that if he does that that he he's promising this that he's going to draft up a bill or whatever if he gets elected so it, i'm not sure if it's coming from a place of hey i really do want dogecoin to succeed or a place of hey elect me please i want to be elected and um it's kind of a thing for him to get elected right so i don't know where his uh intentions are here or, or where it's really coming from um but regardless of that the fact that dogecoin will one day become legal tender, I do believe. It could be in the next five years. I don't know when. Um, it could happen to to start in California or, or, or start in one of these states that, you know, there are so many advocates for Dogecoin, um, states that have already adopted Dogecoin. Like if you can actually see what states, I don't remember the survey or, or where I saw it, but it showed the states in which cryptocurrencies they held the most of. Um, but that'd be cool. That's, that'd be something cool to see here in the future. Like I said, whether it takes, you know, a year or two or three that, that Dogecoin would get adopted as legal tender in some parts of the United States to start off with. We already saw what happened to Bitcoin. It's very much a possibility. Um, it, it happened in El Salvador. They're accepting Bitcoin as an official legal tender, which means anywhere you go in El Salvador, you can use it as a payment method for anything and nobody can stop you. Nobody can turn you away. Right. So super cool. This is just a, an awesome thought. You know what I mean? That Dogecoin will be accepted as legal tender. Like I said, it's probably off in the future, but, you know, it is what it is for now. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess vote for him <laughs> if you guys are uh, in California and, and want him to be, you know, 
drafting up bills to, to make Dogecoin a real thing. Who knows? He might be able to do that. I don't know. But in any case, um, that's pretty much it. I just want to share that little bit of information with you guys that I saw on the internet. And um, before we get into my portfolio, I want to talk to you guys about Dogecard. Obviously, Dogecard is a company I've been working with closely for the last eight to nine months. We finally got approved by Visa after six months. Then we got approved by Apple and Apple Pay. So you can have that on your phone, on your watch, make it easier for you to make payments. This is what the card looks like if you order it right now. Um, the cool thing about it is you can pretty much put money in here, fiat, right? You put cash in the card and then you go out and you buy whatever you would buy anyway on a day to day basis and you get Dogecoin back for every single purchase, which is super cool. I pretty much use it to buy everything from Chipotle to paying my bills. I just paid my rent with it the other day, got a ton of Dogecoin back because of that. So um, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can go check it out, check out the website, see what you guys think and see if it's a good fit for you. But um, yeah, so let's get into my portfolio and um, I will catch you guys on the next video. Finger guns. All right, guys, here's my portfolio today. We are down about $2,000 in the past hour. In the past day, we're down $7,700. Past week, we're down $5,600. And this month, we're down $192,000. Uh, past three months, we're down $193,000. The past year, we're down $1.2 million. And of all time, we are up $177,000. So let me uh, check my doge, doge, check my doge, doge, doing the day. We are at $0.08. Cents. Um, it's been going down in the past hour. We're down 2% today. Um, this week's been a little bit over, lower the place. Uh, we had a nice little bump up, almost to $0.09. nine cents and right back down and um this past month has been pretty sideways for the most part you know with a slow down downward trend here um past three months you know we were we were up here in the in the 17 cents area i think this is when um this was when what what happened here i think i think tesla announced uh spacex is going to take dogecoin i want to i want to say um but yeah we're down from that and um, past year, we've just kind of been on a downward trend um, for the past year. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, my position, in case you didn't know, now you know, I have 3.9 million Dogecoin. I have uh, some more Dogecoin in other apps and other places. But this is just on Robinhood. Equity is $313,000. Average cost basis is 4.7 cents. Portfolio diversity is 100% because I'm all in on Dogecoin. And uh, total return is $128,000. So that's where we're sitting at right now. But yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, in case you guys forgot, you know, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is purely entertainment. Um, don't forget to do your own due diligence, your own research before investing in crypto or the stock market because things can get very volatile, as you can see. And... Uh, yeah, and if um don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, notification button, all that good stuff if um so you don't miss any more of my future videos. So yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo.